More details emerge about Juice World and his visit to Chicago after his tragic passing. ASAP Rocky is giving back to Sweden. Plus, Fat Joe reacts to Nick Cannon and Eminem's feud. If Sugar doesn't win all the BMAs next year, I will riot. Oh, hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life with your hip hop roundup. But before we really begin, I need to clear the air. Will Smith and Jaden Smith are fine. Nothing crazy happened to them. They weren't in a fiery car crash. I've been getting a lot of texts, screenshots, DM to me claiming this happened, but it's a viral death hoax just like YNW Melly from the other day. And it's sickening. On to something more positive now with ASAP Rocky because he's back in Sweden months after being locked up and is doing a free concert for fans. We're in Sweden right now. You know what I'm saying? We came to the slums. We got to check out the gang and all that, man. Shout out to the people out here. Yeah. I'm in Stockholm right now. I'm doing my concert, my first concert after being locked up out here. Everybody from the immigrant community, what they call the immigrant community out here, none of y'all got to pay to come to my show today. All y'all getting free. Whoever come, whoever from the hood, they getting free. Now to Nick Cannon. I'm leaving. Recall he released a diss track against Eminem, which reminded everyone why he's incredible on the mic when it comes to hosting TV shows. Yeah, people were not feeling it, especially Eminem, who called Nick out over some of the accusations he made about him going down on another man. Well, Nick, being the marketing genius he is, decided to release another track, but this time his wild and outcast went on the mic instead of him. Smart. However, some people are not feeling one line in particular, which references Juice World's passing, saying why did he die instead of Eminem. Adding to this, we're hearing exclusively Eminem is both pissed and relishing over this back and forth. Eminem is mad at Nick that he mentioned his daughter Haley on the first track, but loves messing with him and will continue to do so. Eminem will not go on wild and out and support anything Nick has his hands on, and this feud will definitely continue. On to Fat Joe, who now knows how Big Sean felt after Control was released, spoke to TMZ and revealed he wants no part of their feud and doesn't want to pick sides because he likes both artists. We also did an interview with Fat Joe and let us know if you'd like us to release it next week. On to more serious news regarding Juice World. According to TMZ, some of Juice's friends are pissed off and believe he may have been racially profiled. TMZ reports friends close to the artist claim the run-ins with the law are more than suspicious. According to the site, Juice has been arrested for prohibited items at LaGuardia Airport in New York back in 2018, and he and his private jet had been searched multiple times. They also mentioned this started to happen after he reportedly signed a $3 million record deal with Interscope, which his friends believe made him a target. In addition, TMZ reports Juice was going to Chicago to celebrate his birthday after turning 21 years old on December 2nd. We're going to do more digging, but for now, you all can hit the sub, like, and bell button for all the updates.